What is going on guys? Welcome to my channel here at If you guys are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe so that you guys are updated on my minoxidil beard growth journey as well as any upcoming treatments pertaining to hair loss. Now, today is actually a little over week 7 since I've started my minoxidil and derm rolling slash micro needling journey. And as you guys can see, I have continued to pursue this journey of trying to grow a beard. Um, I've been religiously applying minoxidil one milliliters twice a day and then also micro needling about once or twice a week. So this is the results I'm going to show you up front. Now this area here really did fill in because last time, um, if you guys have been following my journey, there was a little bit of patchiness. but. Here's how it looks. And also at week seven, I've noticed a lot of cyber hair growth. I don't know if you guys can see from the video here, but there's a lot of vellus hairs that have been growing terminal. And same thing on this side here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a lot of hair growth. A lot of them are vellus and um, some of them did turn terminal, which is always a good thing. Now, I still need to have some hairs growing here. Um, but yeah, it's filling really nicely. And I think I started seeing the most results um, at week seven right now. Uh, before, I didn't really see too much growth. I only saw a little bit of vellus hair, but everything is growing a lot. And the funny thing is, I actually pointed out to my wife today, um, when I apply minoxidil, I guess some of it gets on my ears, and a little tiny piece of this area here is actually starting to grow hair too. So, it's pretty interesting. Um, the skin is a little bit dry when you guys apply minoxidil. Um, this is the one that I use. But it gets better over time. But I don't think the dryness ever goes away. If you want, you can go ahead and apply some type of uh, lotion or something like that but in my case it doesn't look too bad now I do dermal roll once or twice a week um, I find that dermal rolling is a little bit easier than micro needling and so this is the one that I use this is the titanium 192 needles and it's, it's pretty easy so all you're gonna do is you're just gonna just roll it and you don't even have to apply any pressure when you're changing directions make sure to lift it up so that it doesn't scrape your skin um, but pretty much, I've been doing this. And I have been seeing some pretty good results. Uh, the reason why I do thermal when I'm using um, minoxidil to grow my beard is because, you know, studies do show that if you do thermal in conjunction with minoxidil 5%, the results are going to be a lot better. Um, the same thing goes for hair growth. And there really hasn't been any studies for beard growth, but I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be the same for the beard. But this is how it looks. I'm pretty excited. And uh, especially this part here. A lot of it has been filling in. So that's always pretty interesting and exciting. But yeah, this is at week seven. And this is how it looks. Now, I'm also gonna do an update on my hair transplant. I actually am going to get a second hair transplant sometime in November, so please stay tuned for that. I will go ahead and do an announcement and tell you exactly why I'm getting a second hair transplant, which doctor I'm going to, and all that good stuff, but stay tuned for that, guys. If you guys have any questions as far as the Minoxidil beard growth journey, make sure to leave us in comments below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.